Hello students. In this video, we shall learn about the successive approximations of the initial value problem y dash is equal to f of x comma y. The successive approximations of the initial value problem is given by phi naught of x equal to y naught and phi k plus 1 of x is equal to y naught plus integral x naught to x f of t comma 5k of t dt for k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. So using this we can successively find the approximations for the initial value problem given. Now we shall deal with the problem under this topic. Now here the question is find the first four successive approximations phi naught, phi 1, phi 2, phi 3 of the equation y dash is equal to 1 plus xy where y of 0 is given as 0. So this is known as the initial condition. So now this is our initial value problem where y dash is equals to 1 plus xy. Now comparing with the with this we understand that f of x comma y is equal to 1 plus xy. So from that we obtain f of x comma y is equal to 1 plus xy where y of 0 is given as 0 which implies that y naught is equal to 0 and what is x naught? x naught is equal is also equal to 0 because actually this is y of uh, x is equal to uh, 0 that is y of x naught the value of x naught is 0 here so this gives us the value of x naught and this gives us the value of y naught so uh, first we have written the initial conditions and the initial value problem f of x comma y equal to 1 plus x y now next in order to find the successive approximations we shall first evaluate what is f of t comma phi k of t so f of t comma phi k of t will be equal to now in this wherever we have x we have to replace it by t and wherever we have y we have to replace it by phi k of t so that will be equal to 1 plus now x is t and in play at the place of y we are having phi k so we can write phi k of t now we shall start finding the successive approximations one by one now here in the question they are asking us to find the first four approximations phi naught phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 the first one phi naught is actually so phi naught of x is equal to y naught by this so here we have phi naught of x to be equal to y naught but what is our y naught here y naught is 0 therefore this is equal to 0 so hence the first approximation phi naught of x is equal to 0 so now we shall find the second approximation which is phi 1 for which we need to use this formula so in this formula we have to put k equal to 0 in order to find phi 1 so let us mark this as equation 1 put k equal to 0 in equation 1 so what do we get phi 1 of x is equal to y naught plus integral x naught to x f of t comma phi 1 of t dt so in general we can also write this as phi k but uh, actually this is 0 because it is phi k of t and so here k is equal to 0 so this will be 0 so far therefore phi 1 of x will be equal to y naught is 0 plus integral x naught is 0 to x so 0 to x and f of t comma phi naught of t that is f of t comma phi k of t is 1 plus t phi k of so now uh, when we substitute that here we get this to be 1 plus t what is phi naught of t it is 0 so 0 dt and so that will be equal to 
integral 0 to x and 1 uh, that is t multiplied with 0 is 0 so this term will get vanished so 1 multiplied with dt so it will be dt and the integration for dt is uh, t between the limit 0 and x applying the upper limit minus the lower limit we get phi 1 of x to be equal to x so this is our second approximation phi 1 so next we shall find the third approximation phi 2 so to find phi 2 we need to uh, put k equal to 1 in equation 1 that is here we have to put k equal to 1 so that we get phi 2 of x so let us see that now so now we have to put k equal to 1 in equation 1 so that we get phi 2 of x to be equal to integral 0 to x multiplied with 1 plus t phi 1 of t dt and so that will be equal to integral 0 to x uh, 1 plus t and what is phi 1 of t just now we have got phi 1 of x to be x so phi 1 of t will be t so when we substitute that here we have t dt and so that will be equal to integral 0 to x 1 plus t squared dt so now integrating this we get the integration of 1 is t plus uh, integration of t squared is t cube by 3 between the limits 0 and x substituting the upper uh, limit and the lower limit so upper limit minus the lower limit we get this to be x plus x cube by 3 as the lower limit when substituted becomes 0 so therefore we get phi 2 of x to be equal to x plus x cube by 3 and this gives us the third approximation so we have to find the last approximation that is the fourth approximation for which we have to put k equal to 2 in equation 1 so if we put k equal to 2 in equation 1 we get phi 3 of x to be equal to integral 0 to x and uh, 1 plus t phi 2 of t dt now substituting phi 2 of t uh, the, here that is phi 2 of t will be t plus t cube by 3 so on substituting that here we get 0 to x 1 plus t multiplied with this that is t multiplied with t plus t cube by 3 dt and so that will be equal to integral 0 to x and now on multiplying this we get 1 plus t squared plus t to the power 4 by 3 dt now on integrating this we get when uh, 1 is integrated we get t plus the integration of t squared is t cube by 3 plus the integration of t power 4 is t to the power 5 divided by 15 between the limits 0 and x now substituting the upper limit minus the lower limit we get x plus x cube by 3 plus x to the power 5 divided by 15 so this is phi 3 of x which is the fourth approximation so we have obtained all the four approximations for the given initial value problem in our next video we shall solve a question paper problem that has appeared in under this topic thank you